Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company is the world's largest semiconductor foundry. Its biggest client, accounting for roughly 25% of its revenue, is Apple. Apple just so happens to be Warren Buffett's biggest holding. So after buying a stake in TSMC some months ago, Buffett sold billions of dollars of his stake in TSMC this past week. And on top of that, Warren increased his Apple position. I'm not sure if Warren thinks Apple will bring in its chip manufacturing in-house like it did the design some years ago. I don't know if it's the fact that TSMC is in Taiwan and potentially um, China is going to try to overtake Taiwan again. So you have the U.S.-China-Taiwan conflict that may happen. However, I think TSMC is still a buy long term. Uh, for these reasons, they account for an estimated 90% of the world's super advanced computer chips. They are starting to make the 3 uh, nanometer node. I think Intel only has the capabilities of doing a 6 or 7 nanometer. Uh, for these reasons, I think Taiwan Semiconductor is still a buy. So let's see where a potential opportunity to go long in Taiwan sem Semiconductor would be. Now again, if we are in a recession, there will be less demand on all products. Pretty much all products today, electronically anyway, require these these uh, chips. So. Um, it's not necessarily a long-term buy at this very moment, but um, the world runs on electronics, right? So um, this would be an opportunity to get in and ride, ride it out for the years to come. So this is the the monthly chart, and we had a nice bounce in October. What was previously resistance became su support. That was uh, sixty dollars. Let's go to the. Let me just mark this off as well. What was previously support is now going to be resistance. So it's going to be the one ten level. Okay, so we see that the moving averages have crossed over and are pointing up, at least the short term. This is the 13 simple moving average. This is the 26 simple moving average. We have some wicks here, which represents sellers. Again, we see the what was support. which would now be the target which is 20 points higher we would need to get through the selling pressure here okay let's go down to the daily chart to see if there's some type of entry I just want to go to the weekly again that was that looks like a nice that looked like that was a nice setup here. I'm just gonna look at that on the daily. Yep. 
Yeah, that was a nice setup. You had a gap up in price, return to the origin of the breakout, and continued higher. All right. So we have another gap. All right, so Taiwan gapped up on earnings, represented by the E. That was at 80. So that might be a nice entry to go long. So here's the play. Price pulls back to the $80 low. Essentially, can go as high as 110 as a short term target. A lot's going to depend on what's going on in the semiconductor industry, but also the broader stock market. January, February has been a good month and a half for the stock markets. It's due for a pullback. This might coincide with the pullback on Taiwan Semiconductor. I will be looking at this level. We'll be looking for a reversal pattern on a, say, a four hour chart, two hour chart, one hour chart to potentially take it long to the 110 level.